Think about what hallelujah, God hallelujah, God hallelujah, God hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Good morning, family. Good morning, good morning, Jesus. good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Precious Holy Spirit, hallelujah, good morning and welcome. Jesus. Welcome into our presence. Welcome into our day. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power and live inside of us. Hallelujah. Good morning, family. Apologize. Hallelujah. This, this thing will just start to act funny i put it the same way that i normally put it and it just flip and turn inside out upside down all around but god is faithful god is kind happy new year happy new year this is our first devotion hallelujah, hallelujah. inside deep inside the new Go year hallelujah hallelujah oh my goodness we're at 198 devotions thus far can you believe it yeah. 198 days we spent together Wednesday will be 200 hallelujah and it's been a wonderful wonderful time God has done so many awesome things he has ministered to us in ways that we just did not expect and we have been able to challenge God to a whole nother level of just proving himself well not proving himself because God is already proven and whether we believe it or not uh, he is God all by himself, but God has just just honored us by just demonstrating his love for us Yes, that's what he has done demonstrated his love for us And so we just want to say blessed be the name of the Lord for this is the day that he has created And we will rejoice and be glad in it and as we praise him for what he has done as we praise him for how he has kept us You know all weekend long Wherever you went to church, people were just ushering out 2020 and ushering in, hallelujah, 2021. Because they were saying, some people were saying, man, 2020 was, 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 was tough, but thanks be to God, we made it. The one consistent thing was the love of God. And so we just continue to just bless God. I, 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 will, I will say to you that outside of the mask and outside of the social distancing and not being able to hug and, um, and just you know love upon people in the in the in the physical natural 2020 was one of my best years ever in life ever in life hallelujah and so as i as i said to to, to so many people it depends on your perspective 2020 had some challenges but every year has challenges 2020 had some some difficulties some heartaches some pains some losses and some gains so does every other year it just depends on which angle you look at it from and so i've declared that 2020 was my best year thus far yes 2021 is going to be 10 times better a hundred times better a thousand times better but 2020 was one of my best years ever 2020 saw me and my family go deeper in god seek god for much more and saw god deliver much more had 2020 not come along, we would not be at this place. We would not have this devotional time. Uh, 2020 is the first year that we as a family had so many devotions consistently. You know, different things could happen. You oversleep, you, you, um, you, you're busy, you run out and do other things. But this 2020, man, it was just so important for us to just be consistent and persistent and just demonstrate our faithfulness to God even as he has demonstrated faithfulness to us and so 2020 was easily easily my best year yet my best year ever up to this point because I in God and in, in let me tell you in everything man when everything is in God yeah. it's everything hallelujah and so just one of the things, the nuggets I want to leave with you before we, 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 we start praying in a few minutes um, is that no matter what's going on, no matter what storm you're going through, Peter would not have known that he could walk on water until the storm came. Come on. He would not have understood faith and, 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 and how to, to keep his eyes on the Lord, to protect him from the from the, 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 the discouragements and the fears and the things of the enemy he would not have known how to deal with those things had it not been for the storm there's so many things that we could have and should have learned from 2020 and if we didn't learn it 
I can guarantee you we're going to have to take over that exam. That test is going to come again. And so we better learn it. And if we didn't learn it personally, learn it from someone else's experience so that we can truly walk on water when our time comes to face the storm. Or when the storm comes again, we will know, hallelujah, that in the fourth watch, in the hour of the morning, the Lord will come through the winds and through the rains. He will come through the waves. He will come. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. So we give God thanks for taking us through a year of uncertainty, of difficulties, but a year of great opportunities and a great of, a year of great blessings. And we give God thanks for what he has done. And we are excited and expectant of him. Hallelujah. For what he will do in 2021. So blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm happy that our Fort Watch family is up and ready to go. Alive and well from all across the world. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, man, I'm telling you, we, we, we had the, the joy and pleasure of hooking up with two, uh, uh, not two, more than two members of the Fort Watch family over the weekend. And things happened and, you know, it was just such a blessing. And um, we started just trying to, to chronicle and to um, capture every encounter that we have with Fort Watch family members because this is truly a family and it is just really really awesome 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 indeed hallelujah so let's pray father we just bless you we honor and adore you we thank you lord god almighty for this time and this season that you have us in we thank you lord that you brought us out of 20 and into 21 and 21 is three times completion three times perfection and so we thank you lord that three times for the father the son and the holy spirit perfection has come Perfection through the Father, hallelujah. Perfection through the Son, Yeshua the Amashiach, and perfection through the Holy Spirit. And we thank you, Lord, <coughs> that we walk in that triune perfection in a singular way, in our singular life, in our singular uh, approach, in our mind, will, and emotion, our body, soul, and spirit. We thank you that perfection is our portion, completion is our portion in this new year, in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that the fourth watch family will walk in the perfection of your handiwork in our lives and through us in the name of jesus christ we thank you this morning oh god almighty this day this afternoon this night whatever time that they're hearing and and, and are uh, uh, and reaching out to you oh god almighty <coughs> excuse me we just declare this morning oh god almighty that this is the hour this is the season. This is the purpose for which you have created us. And, to, and today, today, oh God Almighty, your hand is moving with great power and great dominion and authority, taking full control of every element and aspect of who we are and what you are purposed for us to do in this new season. And so great and awesome God, we thank you that our families are blessed and health and strength is our portion. We thank you, Lord, that this is the year when we will run and not be weary and walk and not faint. This is the year, O oh God Almighty, when we will flourish because you have nourished us with word, with anointing, with, with your spirit, hallelujah, with the water oh, of your spirit and with your love. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that no weapon that is formed against us will prosper in this year. And every tongue that rises against us in judgment is condemned we thank you lord god almighty that we shall be as olive plant that will bring forth fruit miraculously hallelujah and even out of season in this year in the mighty name of jesus christ we thank you lord that like the palm tree when the hurricanes come, when the winds come, when all the different things come against us, oh God, we will stand strong and be cannot be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that like the, the, the powerful tree, ah, hallelujah, of Lebanon, we thank you, Lord, that we will be rooted and grounded, rooted and grounded as the, as the cedar of Lebanon. And we will not be moved, but Lord God Almighty, we will yet be a host to those who are homeless. We will be a shelter hallelujah to those who are shelterless we will be shade to those who are under the spotlight the heat oh god almighty we will be all things to all men in this season because you are all things to us and all things through us in the mighty name of jesus christ so lord as we uh, get into this time of devotion as we get into this time of praise and worship and honor unto you we ask oh god almighty that you will shift the atmosphere 
every spying, peeping eyes, every listening ears, oh God, every declaring tongue that is not of you in this devotional time. We ask that you will blind them, silence them, and deaf them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let no witch or warlock parade through or, 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 or tap into what you are doing to us and hear any of the things that you are saying or messages that you are sending to us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare that every principality and power, every spiritual wickedness in high places, every rulers of darkness that sits over the Fort Watch family, oh God Almighty, and the places where Fort Watch family is domiciled, or in whatever nation or, or, or parish or place or a purpose, O God Almighty, we declare that this is the day when you will send them apart, set them apart. You will set fire to them like you did to the to the enemies of the children of Israel in Canaan before they went over the Jordan. And so we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that this is your time and your season to accomplish what needs to be accomplished for our behalf and for our victory in the mighty and matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. For your good hand upon us and we give you praise in jesus name amen and amen and amen hallelujah 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 okay so we're going into uh full flight in this new season in the name of jesus christ and we thank the lord for this opportunity to once again continue hallelujah 2021 has come it looked like it was taking a long time but it is here and there are exciting things testimonies hallelujah birthday hallelujah my my, my aunt auntie pat hallelujah auntie pat golson is celebrating her birthday today so help me celebrate with auntie pat i am wondering if she's up this morning because she might have been celebrating from 1201 uh, <laughs> this morning and um you know she's young and spoozy Hallelujah. So she might have been just enjoying, but um, Auntie Patricia Golson just helped me celebrate her birthday with her. She's, she's such a faithful soldier. Hallelujah. And a good example of a woman of God, a woman of substance, a woman of valor. And so we just honor her this morning. Patricia Golson, we give God thanks for you and for your family, for what you have brought to the table, how you have been a blessing to so many people. And as you celebrate this special day today, we say, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord cover you, may the Lord strengthen you, may the Lord give you health, and may the Lord sing a song in your ear that will just give you such peace and such joy Hallelujah. in your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, dear Antipat. Happy birthday. I might go sing now. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, dear Auntie. Happy birthday. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name Hallelujah. of the Lord. All right. Glory to God. Guys, I'm telling you, some things happened coming out of 2020. Uh, that's just awesome. Hallelujah. Okay, so I'm going to just read some testimonies to encourage you because we want 2021 to be truly the year of testimonies. Here, testimonies, Lord. testimonies, testimonies. We're just having, oh my goodness, man, great testimonies. For this year oh by the way remember to get your 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 cartridge paper write down the things that you're expecting um for for 2021 the things that you're believing god for and, and we continually just intercede and them. just pray over them and just um declare god so get your cartridge paper write down the things write the psalm 92 verse 12 and 13 under the bottom of it so um that's it yeah write out the scripture the, the two verses under the bottom of your 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 desires uh and your your um i don't want to call them um that thing that they call new year resolution i don't want to call it a resolution we are declaring that these things will come to pass in 2021 amen a resolution is just a hope that it might happen we are taking the prophetic approach that says Lord, what you say comes to pass. And you said that you will grant us the desires of our hearts. These are the desires of our hearts. And we're praying them through. We're coming in agreement with you. And we're declaring that it is so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. So, testimony. A sister needed an equipment that will help to expand her business. Hallelujah. One of our Fort Watch members. She was talking to someone about it. That person brought the equipment and paid for, bought the equipment. 
and paid for the shipping. She, she was just having a conversation and she was saying, boy, you know, I, I, like, I'd really love to expand. You know, we're just having a casual conversation and you're telling somebody about what is in your heart and what you'd like to do and how you would like to do it. And next thing you know, bonus. Without even doing any work, bonus. Sometimes God will bless you when you're not even expecting it. Hallelujah. She said the person bought, the, bought and paid for the equipment, paid for the shipping to get it. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. And then in another instant, the same person who got the equipment received an envelope with a card for, for Christmas, for a Christmas gift. She needed, hallelujah, she needed money to do something. And the gift card came at the right time with the right amount of money. What a good God. Hallelujah. We celebrate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My favorite testimony for this year. And it's only because of it, it's, it's souls. It's not because I am involved. Because wherever souls were won, hallelujah, and, and, um, and things were demonstrated, uh, that brings glory to God. Hallelujah. We, we, we are excited. So, guess what? I have to take a little time, about two, 30 seconds more, to tell them, build this one for you. Um, some friends invited. Remember, Marsha had said what she wanted for her Christmas gift was salvation. For her daughter amen hallelujah so i must be honest with you in the back of my mind i'm saying well you know salvation is one of those things where um it's a personal choice and so you shouldn't put time limits on salvation because my grandmother wanted me saved from i was 10 and it's when i was 44 i still got saved she didn't get to see it but i still got saved so her request was still honored and so you know sometimes we tend to to, 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 to damper someone else's faith based on our own experience. And we shouldn't do that. We shouldn't do that. God can do anything. What he didn't do for you, he may do for someone else. The way he does something for you, he may not do it the same way for someone else. And so I have learned, and I and I may a culpa, and I repent, because I thought that, you know, this was a, a, a bit much to ask for such a short time for something to happen that may seemingly go against someone's free will but god showed me god taught me so um new new year's new year's eve yes new year's eve hallelujah some friends uh, our daughter went with some friends on a um on a mission just well, not really a mission just a little enjoyment time to get away for the for that whole holiday weekend and that thursday night that thursday night new year's eve we were having some food and we had planned to, to, um, to go to, to Marsha's mom over to her parents' house for the New Year's Day. Marsha was cooking um, ahead of time. Yes, she was cooking. Holy Ghost cooking. Yes, <laughs> glory to God. Yes, she was. <laughs> yes, she was cooking. And so she was pre-cooking some of the stuff, the meat and, you know, pressure cooking and all these kinds of things. So we had no plan to do anything other than go over to Portmore on Friday, New Year's Day. So Friday night, we are having our dinner. Thursday. Thursday night, sorry. We're having our dinner. And a phone call came in and when the phone call came in we looked and saw that it was from the lady who was hosting the young people in the country and um when we put on video call they, there was a prayer meeting going on and they were praying and and just having a good time man and just demonstrating the glory of god people were getting baptism of the holy spirit and um you know we joined in and and prayed and and, and talked and in the end in the end people of god the miracle of salvation Came. the woman of God who hosted her daughter who she has been praying for salvation for the longest while not only got saved gave her life to the Lord but also inspired motivated encouraged hallelujah our daughter hallelujah and she responded to the call and so right on the cusp right on the cusp of the new year hallelujah we got the joy the gift of our daughter accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior so you know say everything mash up for friday come on guys i know some of you are getting emotional because this is real cause of celebration let me tell you don't tell her i said so but marsha ball like a baby she cried like somebody stole something from her she <laughs> cried like somebody died she cried like man i'm telling you at one point i'm saying what is she gonna yes, run out of tears die. oh my goodness she was on her knees on her face she was oh my god let me tell you we serve a good god we serve an 
awesome God, people. I'm telling you, we serve an awesome God. And when you commit and dedicate your time and your seasons to him and to what he is he desires to do, he will do stuff for you that people will just be amazed, be confounded, be dumbfounded. Amen. And so guess what? Friday morning with Thursday night, they said they wanted to get baptized the next day. And so January. Friday, January 1, they didn't want January 2 or high to, to, to come. And they were not fully married to Jesus and in the kingdom. And so we just put the, 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 the things that we were cooking in plastic containers, put them in the fridge and just shut the country. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And we shut the country. And let me tell you, man, the place where they were staying had a pool. And we, did, we went down there to baptize the two people who gave their lives to the Lord. And guess what? God said, you see, because it's bonus time. Ah, oh, Jesus. You see, because it's bonus time, I'm going to give you more than you were expecting. So we went to baptize two people and end up baptizing six. Hallelujah. Six. Six. You hear me? Hallelujah. Six people that day including a young girl who wanted to get baptized she's about 13 i think um she wanted to get baptized a long time and her mom was kind of questioning because she wanted she didn't want any and anybody to baptize her daughter well as 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 we were coming out of the pool man the holy spirit just focused on her and just connected boom and she was in the water as the last one come on glory to god hallelujah and she's just now so excited her mom just couldn't stop crying because guess what her mom was one of those that got baptized as well yeah. oh, yeah. jesus what a good god mm -hmm. and so guys we just celebrate man we celebrate the goodness of god because this all of this maybe would have happened in another way Maybe, I mean, God is faithful, God is kind. We can't even become proud or pompous and say, because of the fourth watch. But I'm telling you, we are able to share and to expand and to be a family that, that has, you know, we, we cry with each other. We've had some debts in 2020, man. We, 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 we mourned with several persons. We celebrated birthdays and anniversaries with several persons. And we're celebrating the goodness of God for souls as well. And so as a family, we experience and encounter many different things and we, as we go through and as we continue to grow as a family, we just hope that more and more persons will get saved and baptized so that the one ultimate thing that God wants to do gets done in the name of Jesus Christ, that no man should perish, but that all should come to repentance. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we're celebrating as a family this morning, as a Fort Watch family, as our family, and, and we're just celebrating the goodness of God for salvation. All right. So that one took long, but it's because I'm excited. Amen. Glory to God. Okay. A sister spent her Christmas uh, ensuring that some children, oh man, she just did a lot of stuff and made sure that children got fed and got some, some, some treats and some, you know, just some blessing. And um, a prophetic, she got a prophetic word. Hallelujah. Let me just tell you, Sister Marsha, Pastor Marsha prophesied to her because of the extent that she went to, to just be a blessing to the children that we were supporting. And Pastor Marsha prophesied to her that her children will not lack, that they will get scholarships, that scholarships will be open to her children since she was so, um, you know, instrumental in blessing other people's children. Well, it so happened that coming close to the end of the year, she got a message that she had a 5,000 US dollar um, school fee to pay for her daughter that's in university abroad. And she was like, whoa, oh my goodness, where am I going to get this from? Hallelujah. But she already had deposits. Come on, somebody. She had deposits in a bank. She had a secret. You know, you women like to do some secret saving. She had a secret saving that she didn't remember. Hey, Jesus. Oh, I'm so excited. She had a secret saving, a rainy day fund that she didn't know about. And as she was going, God knew about the secret fund. And let me tell you, man. Hallelujah. Somebody just called out of the blue and said i have deposited four thousand three hundred dollars us our friend's father our friend her daughter's friend father her daughter's friend father deposited four thousand three hundred dollars in her account and said go pay your school fee yes. and have a good time yeah and she called crying she was just in tears just like Marsha was bawling down the whole place when her daughter uh, accepted Jesus. This 
is the year of bonus. This is the year when we will flourish. We came out of bonus and we come in to flourish. Mm -hmm. God planted many seeds mm -hmm. and so these seeds will come forth mm -hmm. and like palm trees, like cedar, mm -hmm. we will be strong and we will flourish. Can you imagine somebody just give you 4,300 US? Mm -hmm. Man, I'm struggling to imagine it, but it has happened mm -hmm. because God will do the astonishing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So these are just some 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 awesome testimonies, man, that are that are happening. Hallelujah. God is a good God. All right, let's get into some prayer. Hallelujah. We want to just pray for Richard. Richard's foot. Hallelujah. He was burnt. No, he had an instep problem as a child. Oh, okay. And he did a surgery at yeah. six months. Now it's affecting him again. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And Tiffany wants general prayer. Um, Kibibi, general prayer and prayer for salvation. Hallelujah. We are in a salvation mode right now. Hallelujah. The spirit of salvation is still moving, mm -hmm. hovering around, looking for whom he may pull up from the one who wants to devour. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we just thank you for Richard this morning. We thank you for his feet, O oh God Almighty. Lord, let his feet be as hind's feet, that he will run and not be weary and walk and not faint, that then he will run through troops and leap over walls. Strengthen his feet this morning, O oh God Almighty. Lord, let that which man could not fix, ah, hallelujah, you can fix in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, men with their medical uh, academic skills and, and, and abilities and giftings, hallelujah has limits but there is no limit to what you can do yes, and so father we put we place richard before you this morning yes. richard we declare that your feet are healed delivered yes. set free yes. and made whole in the name of jesus as the, as the lord was touched by the woman with the issue of blood as the lord ah hallelujah was touched by the infirmity of the woman bent over for 18 years as the lord was grieved at the man who was at the pool of bethesda and their situations were changed so so we grieve from your heart this morning for Richard's foot, O oh God Almighty, and we say, Richard, be made whole in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise up and walk. Rise up and run. Rise up and jump. Rise up and celebrate. Rise up and dance in the name of Jesus Christ. Every infirmity in Richard's foot will break your powers now, and we order you to die by fire. Receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ, and go now and never return. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Sister Tiffany, we call your name in the realm of the Spirit this morning, and we declare the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and add no sorrow. We declare that Sister Tiffany is blessed beyond measure. We declare that Sister Tiffany, this is your year, for you have been through some difficulties. You have, you have carried a burden. You have felt like you've been carrying a pan of water, a big pan of water on your head. And it's been difficult to move. It's been difficult to run. It's been difficult to even walk fast. Some days you feel like you're just standing in place. And the weight of the world, the weight of your problems, the weight of the situations, the weight of your family, Sister Tiffany has kept you in one place. And you feel like cobwebs are going to grow on you because you're not moving. You're not active. They says a rolling stone gathers no moss. But you've been gathering moss because the weight of life and the pressures have held you in one place. But this morning, Sister Tiffany, we reach in the realm of the spirit and we lift that pan off of your head. We lift that water. We lift that weight off of you and we give you the burden of the Lord Jesus Christ and the yoke of the Lord Jesus Christ that is light and easy in the name of Jesus. And we declare that you are strengthened now to run, to prosper, to be in good health. We, have, we, we declare your family blessed. Everything in your life this day, hallelujah, as you go into this 2021, that the burdens that wanted to follow you into 2021 ah, has met upon a border patrol they have met upon the security guards at the border and they will not be able to change a uh, year or change country in the name of Jesus Christ and so every problem that easily beset you of the past even up to 2021 December 31st we declare that they have not followed you into 2021 and you will run free you will roam like Abraham you will separate hallelujah from that which would cause you problems and you will walk in the freedom of god's blessing in jesus name amen hallelujah 
And Father, we just lift up Kibibi to you this morning. We lift her up, O God Almighty, as one who is in need of your blessing, one who is in need of your spirit, one who is in need of your anointing. And so, Lord, we ask that you will pour your blessing upon her, that she will recognize, give her an encounter, cause her, O God, to experience the joy that we experienced on December 31st when we heard the good news of your the move of your spirit that brought forth a life into the kingdom. We thank you for the marriage ceremony that we experienced and we know that Kabibi's family will experience the same kind of marriage ceremony. A marriage to you. A marriage to a man that never cheats. A marriage to a man that never abdicates his responsibility. A man who never fails to be the best husband there is in the universe. The man called Yeshua, the Amashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, make him be experience him and get involved with him, O oh Lord God Almighty, because he is who you have sent to marry her. Let it be so, and we call it done, because in that marriage, all things are available to Kibibi. May she recognize and do the wise thing in Jesus' name. Amen, and amen, and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, so as we go into this new year, guys, one of the things that most of you will have recognized is that uh, most churches, most, most um, groups, most people start the new year usually with a fast. Uh, a sacrificial fast. Persons will have their list of things that they're looking for for the year. Some will have uh, salvation for their family. Some will have new car, new house, uh, health issues. Hallelujah, glory to God. Health issues that they're 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 battling with, and they they so they will just go on a fast and and say. All right, these are the things I'm fasting for. Uh, some persons will just go on a fast because their church has called a fast. But one of the things that we have come to recognize is that most persons are unaware of how to fast, why they fast, and the importance of fasting. Amen. And so this morning, as we are going into this time, because I know that um, most persons who attend uh, churches uh, in the in the in the natural, I know that um, this Fort Watch family is diverse. It is is has a lot of persons who go to other churches, and that's fine. And you're you're probably going to be involved in, in in a fast later on, or um, have already started a fast. We would love to do a fast for for Fort Watch as well. Um, I I think maybe about three days just to ensure that we, we, we don't interrupt, interfere with. And it, it doesn't need to be three days separate from the fast that you're doing now. Just that in those three days that we have assigned, uh, while you're on your fast, you will focus and pray about the Fourth Watch family, the Fourth Watch hour, and what, we, what we're doing here. Amen? So that's, that's um, one element of it. But I want to just talk to you about the importance of a fast and what that really is supposed to be because so many persons have missed it we end up saying well you know we're going on a fast because our, our, our children are misbehaving we're going on a fast because um our, our our spouse is not doing what they're supposed to we're going on a fast because it looks like we're gonna lose our job or we're going on a fast because we need a job we're going on a fast because I, I need God to, 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 to do something in this season. That house that I've been, I, I saw a seed and I'm going to fast because I need God to come through for that house. And um, all those things are, are, are good. I'm not going to say to you that uh, you are completely, you're, you're outside of the will of God or anything like that. That's not where I'm going with that. But I need for, the Bible says, for lack of knowledge, my people perish. My people are destroyed. And that destruction is not necessarily that you, you die or you don't make it into heaven. That destruction can be that that which you were entitled to, that which how you were supposed to live, you're not living that way. So you, you're, you were born to a very rich family, but you were given away as a child. And so you don't know that connection. And so you're living poor, you're living in the slums, you're living uh, hand to mouth, you're living some days hungry and some days you barely have much to eat. Yet still your bloodline, yet still your name, yet still your family connection, yet still your generation is wealthy. And so you're really perishing, quote unquote, in that section when really you're entitled 
by birth, by name, by purpose, by generation, to great wealth and comfort. And it's the same thing when we operate less than how God wants us to operate. When we get, receive, or walk in less than what God wants us to walk in, then we really perish in. Amen? Hallelujah. Loosely. So I want to start off by just taking you to a scripture. Hallelujah. When Jesus himself introduced fasting to the people. Hallelujah. And so we're at Luke chapter 4. That's Luke chapter 4. Mark it. Luke chapter 4 from verse 1 to verse 12. It chronicles something and many of us have been through this scripture before. But it's just this morning as I was going through again that I saw something very profound that has to do with fasting that may not be what you thought or what I thought it would have been. So let's read. Hallelujah. Hope you're there. Remember, we're supposed to, if, it, if you didn't have one for 2020, for 2021, you need a Bible. You need one of these. You can use your mobile phone or your tablet while you're, while you're mobile, while you're on the go at other places. But for devotional purposes, we need a hard copy Bible. Now, if you can't afford one, don't, don't feel guilty or feel like, oh my goodness, where am I going to get money to go buy a Bible? No, it's not that kind of, not that kind of story. Not that kind of story. We will um, pray and, and, and God will deliver one for you. But if you, can, if you don't have one and you, you, you can get one, we would suggest that you get a hard copy so we can go through and feel and touch and follow the line with your finger like the good old days. Amen? Hallelujah. Okay, so let's read. Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, like us, filled with the Holy Spirit now, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being tempted for 40 days by the devil. And in those days he ate nothing, and afterward, when, he had, when he, they had ended, he was hungry. Hear me. The Bible says, he went into the wilderness and was tempted for 40 days. Then it said, when they had ended, when the 40 days had ended, when the 40 days had ended, is the Bible says so, not me. I looked it up in the Greek, and the Greek said, ended there means sontelio. Sontelio, S U N T E L E O, sontelio. And it means finishing an activity, fulfillment, finishing an activity. It means that the Bible said the 40 day fast ended and the tested ended. Are you hearing me? Ended. Luke 4, verse 1 and 2. One and two, no, not one and two, but this is, this is where it, 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 it transforms. One and two says, Jesus was led into the, 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 the wilderness by the Holy Spirit, because this is profound. We already have the Holy Spirit. We have already been baptized. And so what this is saying is that once you have passed that hurdle, you will be led by the Spirit into situations and circumstances. Difficult situations and circumstances. To be tempted by the devil but it will come to an end so for 40 days the devil tempted him and then it ended when it ended it said he was hungry so there's a comma at the at the at, the, at ended and then it said he was hungry full stop he was hungry full stop then verse 3 Watch me, I'm taking you through slowly because I want you to get the revelation on what the scripture is saying. Because we often think that even some things that were mentioned in, 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 the, um, in the temptation process, that it happened during the 40 days. But that is not what my Bible is showing me in this, in this one area. If you have a different revelation, let me know. But this said, it is ended. Some tell you means complete, end, finish. Fulfillment. That's what Suntelia means. And that's what the Bible says. Ended. I looked in another version and it also said ended. So the fast had ended 
by the scripture, unless I'm missing it completely. And it says he was hungry. I mean, having gone 40 days, you never even need the Bible to tell us say he would have been hungry. 40 days without food, he would have been hungry. Verse 3, it says, And the devil said to him, If you are the son of God, command this stone to become bread. This is after the fast has ended. After he's now hungry. I'm saying to you guys, after the fast had ended, after he was tempted in the fast, now Satan come and says, if you be the son of God, command the stone to become bread because he knew he was hungry. So the first one, command the stone to be made bread. Jesus' fasting brought his flesh and his desire for food under subjection so that when he is tempted by that which he brought his flesh under subjection to resist, he had the power and the authority to not be led astray by those desires. So he doesn't fast to receive bread. He fasts to be strong enough to resist bread because it's easy to get bread. I hope you're following me. All right. So he said, and the devil said to him, if you are the son of God, command the stone to become bread. But Jesus answered him saying, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God, by every word of God, every word of God. So Jesus really fasted that he could become like God. He could become God. He could demonstrate God-like power and authority so that anything that came to him, he could either resist or he could fix. He could call forth. He could walk in power. I hope you, you begin to, 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 to analyze and to get what is going on here. Fasting is supposed to make you like God. The things we're fasting about the things we're calling and putting on paper to say we're fasting about it. More often than not, a lot of them, we're really wasting the fasting time. We're actually wasting the fasting time. I say to you, people of God, we are supposed to fast so that we can resist the devil's desire to draw us into temptation, to draw us into obeying him, to draw us into becoming or, or to, to not becoming who he, he, God, says that we're to become. Because when we're operating like that, the things that we're, we're ignorantly fasting about, the things that we're saying, Lord, this is what I want, so I'm going on a three-day fast to sacrifice. Those things we can, when we're operating like God, we can call them forth. They will come to the fore. Call forth that which is not as though it were. But we have to be moving in a certain level of authority and power in order to do that. And that comes from fasting. Jesus went away and was by himself praying. And when he came back, he could do anything. That's what we need to be. So our fasting is supposed to be for us to die so that God can live in us. And when God lives in us and through us, nothing is impossible for us. Amen? Now, does it mean that you, does it mean that you will never fast to, 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 to hear God clearly on a matter? No, it, it doesn't mean that. But remember, the principle of the fast is not for the, 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 a thing to come to you. We have power to call everything to us. Fasting is designed to link us, to sync us, to make us one symbiotically with God so that God flows and functions through us. Mm -hmm. Our flesh and our soul does not get in the way and stop us from accomplishing where we end up having to beg, Lord, 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 please, please, please. Give me this, please, Lord, please, Lord. But we flow through him. Okay, so verse 4 says, But Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Then the devil, taking him up 
on a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said to him, All this authority I will give you and their glory, for this has been delivered to me, and I give it to whomever I wish. So here it is, he starts off with food. Food represents the, the, the greatest external desires of the flesh, of the body. Amen? So food, sex, uh, clothes, house, car, all of these things are represented in that bread. We hunger for those things because they come from the outside. And so fasting allows us to be in control of our desires so that we don't get overwhelmed or overtaken or tempted by those desires. Amen? Hallelujah. So that's what fasting does. Fasting is not to get that house. Fasting is to be able to resist when the enemy tries to tempt us with that house. Because God already has a house for us. Oh, come on, somebody. God already has bread for us. So the enemy should not be able to tempt us. God already has a husband or a wife for us. So the enemy should not be able to tempt us with the counterfeit. God already has a child for us. So the enemy should not be able to tempt us with an Ishmael. Oh, come on, somebody. If you're in fa if you have been fasted up and you're connected to God and God is speaking, God will say, wait on my Jake, my Isaac. Wait on my Isaac. And you will be so into God that yes. you will hear and know that no, this, what I'm being advised to do from my outside, even though it's not the devil I'm seeing, it's my Sarah. Come on, it's the devil that's talking to Sarah. Yes. So I'll wait. Come on, hallelujah. Amplified. Hey, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I hope somebody getting excited. Yes. So your discernment gets your amplified. Spirit your spirit comes to the fore and you stop living yes. from your body to your soul to your spirit. You see these three fingers? Mm -hmm. They represent body, soul, and spirit. Your body is the smallest one, the least, the, the, the most insignificant. But it gives whole heap of trouble despite how short it is, how small it is. Your soul is the next one. This one gives a whole heap of trouble, especially when it links with your body to work against your spirit. But your spirit, because we are born to be spirit beings and God is the author and the finisher of all things and he's the hell, the creator of the universe, he's the biggest one. But the biggest one often is at the back. And so when you become a Christian, this is supposed to happen. They're supposed to join together, body, soul, and spirit. But not from the body to the soul to the spirit, but it's supposed to turn around. And so every time anyone sees you and encounters you, because you've been prayed up, fast up, because you're living differently, you're living as God. Everyone who encountered Jesus, encountered the spirit first. Encountered the spirit first. Then his soul and then his body. So his body was put on the back burner. He didn't, he didn't operate or function out of his body or flesh as we call it. Because the flesh is really the soul and the body combined. But the body is separate from the soul. Amen? Hallelujah. So fasting brings body and soul under subjection. That flesh will come to the fore like Jesus. That's and I'm spirit. saying to you, hallelujah, spirit will come to the fore like Jesus. And when you are being led by spirit, when you are full of spirit, when, when people encounter you, they encounter spirit. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you, you begin to see differences. When Peter was walking into the temple and the man was at the gate beautiful, that man was asking for arms from Peter's flesh. But Peter never encountered him with flesh. He encountered him with spirit. Yes, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. When the man was at, the, at the, the, the pool of Bethesda, he looked and saw Jesus' body, but Jesus' body never encountered him. Jesus' soul never encountered him. He encountered Jesus' spirit. Why? Because both men in these particular instances were fasted up. Flesh had died. And so no matter who tried to appeal to their flesh, it is their spirit that re they responded from. Mm -hmm. And that's what God desires of us family. I'm telling you the honest truth. God desires for us to become less flesh, for our flesh to die and our soul and spirit become one.
that anyone who encounters us encounters our spirit, which is the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. 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 And so you see, the bread, as I explained, the bread represents all the material things that we could ever want or need, that we hunger for. And Jesus was able to resist it because he fasted to the point where those things did matter. And so he was strong from that fasting, even though it made the flesh weak, his spirit was so strong that he didn't focus on those things because he knew that he could get them anytime he needed. And his spirit was so strong that he knew that what um, Satan was offering him was um, to, it's, it's a deception. That's correct. So when your spirit has arisen so much, you can be able to cipher out mm. this, this deception yes. that are coming your way. That's right. Mm. Identify the deception. Identify the real thing from That's the, the camouflage. That's correct. That's one of the things from that fasting does as vitamin. well. So when you're fasting, don't fast for a husband. Fast that God will make you so sensitive in the spirit that you can identify when the counterfeits come. Because when the real one come, man, hallelujah, hallelujah, yes, be able to identify the Ishmael. Abraham was not able to identify the Ishmael, the spirit of the Ishmael, and he ended up with the Ishmael. And today we are still struggling with the Ishmael, the Ishmael generation. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, uh, the next temptation was the temptation of the kingdoms, the temptation of, 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 of things that, 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 that are, are global, of power and authority and dominion. That's the next thing that he tempted him with, that, that desire to, to be the boss, that desire to run your house, that desire to take over from your husband or take over from your, your, your boss at work. When Satan says, don't you see that you're, bright, you're smarter than your boss? Don't you see that you know the work more than your, 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 your boss? And, you, and, and, and he, he prompts you and he, he, he stimulates you and he, he encourages you to want to, to, to usurp the boss's authority. And you start sending emails to the chairman saying, oh, I would suggest that you do it this way. And, 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 and Miss, Miss What's-Her-Name um, doesn't understand and you're, you're subtly being a Jezebel usurping because God has given you a gift or you have been in the company longer and, and I'm using that as just as an example uh, so that you can get it but when 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 Satan offers you something that is not yours come on somebody hallelujah you when, when you are fasted up uh, uh, as Jesus was able to you'll be able to resist that and humble yourself you'll be able to wait on your turn wait on your platform wait on oh, your Lord. your kingdom when God gives you your own kingdom you will be able to do great things with it but if you get a kingdom that wasn't betrothed to you that wasn't yours by by, by, by design uh, you'll not be able to keep it and so Satan said all this was given to me but he had it illegal because it belonged to Jesus in the first place Amen. come on somebody you got to know what belongs to you in the first place and so your fasting is to allow you to, to, to be so strong that when you identify what is yours you cannot be drawn away by what is not yours oh hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. amen hallelujah so let's rush through Hallelujah. Verse 8. Verse 8 says, And Jesus answered and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. And so fasting allowed him to be confident in who he is to worship. Confident in who he's connected to and who will give him authority and power. Who will give him the kingdoms of this world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Verse 9. Then he brought him to Jerusalem, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you to keep you, and, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. That's the one called pride. That's the one called pride. Sometimes we have an anointing, we have a call in our lives and somebody says to us, how come you have such a great anointing when you pray for people who are sick, they get healed? How come when you pray for people, they get delivered and they go on to good life? You know you should start charge. You know you should get more value. You should be, you should be profiting from this gift that God has given you. And then they quote scripture. Paul says, if the, if the ox is treading out the grain, shouldn't he eat from the grain that he's, he's, he's treading out? 
Paul says, if I bless you and minister to you with spiritual things, shouldn't you minister to me with your natural things? They have all scripture for try and lead you astray. Come on, when the enemy is coming to tempt you, he will come good. But if you are fasted up, if your flesh has died, if you said, I will wait until my change come, I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help, for my help cometh from the Lord. I am an olive plant and I will wait on my season to bear fruit. Come on, somebody, you have to be fasted it up to not be inundated by the things that the enemy will show you to try and draw you away away into the lust of the flesh and the pride of life fasting prepares you to resist the devil that he will flee from you and once the devil is not in your way and you are completely immersed in jesus nothing shall be impossible for you and so fasting is important because it is through fasting that your flesh dies. It is through fasting that your soul becomes conformed and, and, and humbled and submitted to your spirit. But it is through fasting that you operate like God. Hallelujah. That is the greatest mm. one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when, when body is subjected to soul and soul is subjected to spirit and spirit is who leads you into temptations into situations and circumstances it is also spirit that gives you victory and so all of our victories guys all of our victories will come only when our body and our soul is submitted and subjected gone behind look at this you see this when you when when you're operating from body to soul to spirit you can see all three don't it and so different at different times all three are at play. All three are the focus of attention at different times. Sometimes all three are, are conflicted at the same time because all three have camera time, have spotlight. But when that time comes and the change comes and your maturity comes, come on, hallelujah. Look at this. Wow. The Holy Spirit just give me this revelation as I'm talking to you. Look at this. You see this wife? Yes. Where are the other two? You can't see them. You can't see them, guys. Hey, ba 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 Come on, somebody. Holy Ghost is here. Just now the Holy Spirit revealed this to me, and I just did it again and see it there. When you are seeing the Spirit of God in you, when your spirit is what you live by because you have fasted and prayed and you have caused your soul and your body to go into hiding, to go into subjection, to go under manners, as we say in Jamaica, all that people say, hey, Jesus, all that people see when they encounter you is your spirit. They can't appeal to your soul because they can't see it. They can't appeal to your body because they can't see it. They can't relate to it. They have, it, it is not what is at front it is your spirit mm -hmm. and so that's why we fast my brothers and sisters we fast so that no one not even us can see our body and our soul and our spirit at the same time all they see is spirit because that's how we can do all things resist the devil resist the temptations mm -hmm. resist the Isaacs the, sorry resist the, the Ishmaels mm -hmm. Resist the false things, resist idolatry, and live in freedom. And Pastor, I, just, I, I was just thinking about um, that is why sometimes when you're fasting, you find out that the things that your 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 weakness, like for example, if you have anger problem, you find out that situations will come to 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 keep the anger under subjection because your your spirit is coming up and squeezing out mm. that which is in your soul. Yes. So you find say you have impatience impatience problem and you find say me, uh, me damn this fast I and mean, everything just me have to just a uh, wait wait what is happening is that your spirit man is coming up mm. and squeezing out that impatience out of your soul hallelujah so the fasting helps your spirit to come to the fore and anything that is in your soul that is besetting you, it starts to squeeze it out. Mm. Yes. And you Hallelujah. find that you have to encounter the thing That's right. to overcome the thing. That's so correct. if you have impatience problem, you find that you have to wait a little longer because you're on this fast. Mm. You find that you have to um, you get in situation that will trigger anger. But the spirit is squeezing out that anger. So you have to know, you put yourself under subjection and say, okay, I am submitting. 
to the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord. Okay, so uh so 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 okay guys. Where did you stop? Um, at uh, 12. Okay. Uh -huh. So in the hands, you're right. So he shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered and said to him, It has been said, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. And so every time temptation comes, as we close this morning's devotion, guys, every time that temptation comes, really and truly, because Satan is not interested in us, you know. We can't compare to him. We can't compete with him. We can't do anything at all that will hinder Satan's work except by the spirit of the living God, except through the name of Yeshua, the Amashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so when he comes and he tempts us, he is really tempting God. So when we fail, we fail God. And it seemed to Satan and to the others around that God has failed. That's why people talk so negatively about the church. Don't talk loud. Because we submit and subject ourselves to the bread that has been offered to us, to the kingdoms that have been offered to us, mm -hmm. to the pride we do the same thing that has been offered to us when Jesus himself demonstrated to us that if we fast, we'll be able to resist the offer of the bread. Resist the kingdoms that have been shown to us because they're already ours mm -hmm. and resist the pride because we live in the humility of Christ Jesus. So we don't have to prove anything to Lucifer. We don't have to jump off anywhere because we know angels are with us. We don't have to go into a place where gunshots are being fired or thieves are just to prove that we have angels to protect us. No, we don't have to. That's pride. We go about our business. And our angels protect us without we even knowing. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. So we're going to fast. Hallelujah. Uh, we're, we're hoping that this is our first fast as a, as a family. Uh, as I said, you don't have to be concerned that you are already on a fast or you're going on a fast at that time. It, it, it's the same thing. All we require is that, right, it can be done simultaneously. All we require is that the principle that I just explained to you, if you get it, if you believe it, if you accept it, then you apply it. And so I'm not saying dishonor or, you know, anything concerning what you were doing before, or what your church believes or what they're saying. I'm just saying to you, for us, we are saying, Lord, make me more like you during this time of fasting. Make me more like you that I may walk in the way you walked, in the way Peter, James, John and the other disciples walked, in the way Paul walked. Make me like you and I'm giving you my flesh and my soul in this time of fasting that whenever people see me, they no longer see me like a step, but they see me as one sword ready to cut down anything that stands in the way of your purpose. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So we're going to do this fast from the 11th to the 14th. Uh, we know that some persons will be finishing fast or some people will be in the middle of fast and some people will just be starting a fast. But the fourth watch fast is from the 11th to the 14th and we are going to be asking God to connect with us, to fill us with his spirit like he did the Lord Jesus Christ, to fill us like he did the disciples in Pentecost and the upper room, to fill us like that, that when we come down out of that fast, 3,000, Hallelujah. We'll be delivered, set free, and made whole. Many will be brought to the kingdom as it ought to be by the Spirit of the living God. And our fast will be from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. Hallelujah. And we, 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 we start with a devotional time, a, a, a prayer, and, and we end with one as well. Amen. So we just get into the word. And just declare some things, just declare, I am a child of the King. I am full of the spirit of the living God. I am anointed and appointed for such a time as this. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I tread you upon serpents and scorpions. Points. We're going to send you some prayer points. Hallelujah. But as the word declares, man, everything that the word says you, you are and can do, you're going to be declaring those things over your life during those three days. And I guarantee you, when you come out, man, the devil is going to take away himself. From you, from your family, from your business, from your finance, from your health, from your 
community and even from your nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. I hope that was helpful. And we will Yep, and we will yes, we will also end the fast on um with with a devotional time on Facebook and we will um you know just do a do a live and just pray with you and we'll have communion and we'll just see the, the goodness of the Lord man eyes will be open ears will be open discernment will get big and up uh, prophetic utterances will dreams come will with dreams amplified. you'll have dreams amplified God definition. will show you things with high mm -hmm. definition quality great things man we are moving in 2021 like never before guys we're not going to settle for how we were as christians in the past we are now soldiers of the cross we are now invincible the disciples don't have nothing on us because there is no other disciple that is going to take our space we have to be the examples like they were back then and so we got to do our job amen hallelujah more than a conqueror Hallelujah. Okay, we're out of time, so it's time for communion. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I honestly hope that um, that did something for you, that helped you. If it didn't, please uh, send me questions in, in, in Messenger. Inbox me in Messenger to ask me any question that you want to ask concerning that. And we will, um, we will not only answer your question, but we will voice it. Uh, publicly just in case some persons didn't ask but had that concern or that question as well in the name of Jesus if I don't see any questions come I will know that everybody get it and that they don't have any issue please I'm asking you if you have any concerns any questions anything that don't sit right with you don't just hold it up in your heart and say oh I want to him I want him come from me no business me not believe that and that not right and that not according to scripture no that is the old you that is the 2020 you the 2021 you wants to not only help others to grow but you want to grow as well and if you have grown and you see others in a place of darkness you must help them to come into light amen so if you know better than me help me man i will humble myself under your teaching and and, and grow because i want to grow just as, as much as i want to see you all grow amen glory to god so send me any information any concern any message anything that you have that is contrary or will help to even enhance what i have said and if that is the case, and we just help the whole family to grow in the name of Jesus, because that's the, that's what family does. Amen. Bless you. All right. So, Lord, we thank you this morning for your good hand upon us. We thank you for your blessings and your favor. May your anointing fall afresh upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. May we truly be rooted and grounded like a palm tree. And may we truly evolve and be a, a, a magnificent splendor like the cedar of Lebanon in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we ask that you will search us this morning from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. Hey, search our thoughts, our words, and our actions. See if there be anything in us or that has come through us that has contravened your laws and your precepts. We repent and renounce it now and ask your forgiveness in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We ask that, Lord, you sanctify and consecrate these emblems even now. Bless them to our bodies, O God Almighty, and to our soul, that every element and aspect of our lives will truly be reflective of your body and your blood in Jesus' name. Amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it, he broke it, and he gave it to the disciples and he said, Eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of his body in faith, in remembrance of the Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. who died that we might be spirit beings, mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it. He took a sup and he gave it to the disciples and he said, Drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. My death, burial, and resurrection until I come. 
drinking all of his blood for his life is in his blood and we now have his life and life more abundantly drinking all of it in faith in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah so I say thank you for this first Monday this first devotional day in 2021 thank you so much for joining us thank you for those in the watch parties thank you for those who held watch parties thank you to those on instagram hallelujah our instagram uh, friends and family is growing uh ex ex extensively hallelujah in this season and we hope that it will continue to grow and we just bless god for you each and every one of you may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you may the lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go forth, man, and have an amazing day God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day, his way, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Remember, guys, Jesus love you, and we love the whole I want to. God bless you, Fort Watch family. It is well. Angels are with you, and you are covered and protected hallelujah we live not by body soul and spirit but by spirit only hallelujah god bless you, that our spirit. God bless you. hallelujah spirit led by the spirit we are sons have a wonderful one bless you shine upon